Okay, we'll talk about loops now. Okay, so what is a loop? Okay, the loops are used to repeat. Okay, repeat set of lines of code. Okay, multiple times, right? You can define how many times you want to repeat. So when we know exactly how many times, we prefer to use for loop. So for loop is used when we know, okay, how many times, okay? When we know how many times, okay? You have while, okay? This is used for conditions, okay? So repeating based on condition. So what does that mean? See, you can use for here also, while there also, okay? But generally, okay, the purpose, the way it has been designed is when we know exactly how many steps follow for, okay? Then it becomes easy. The number of lines of code becomes easy, less when you use for loop when we know. And when we don't know, then it's better to use while, okay? The number of lines of code becomes less when we use while. So, um, see, if I, if, uh, like, if I ask you, um, get marks of 10 students, okay? So, getting marks of 10 students, you know that you have to repeat for 10 times, isn't it? Okay, or do something five times, okay? You have... Uh, uh, 100 students and you have to get details for 100 students. The same detail you have to get for all the 100. So it's one logic you write to get for one student and then you put that in a loop where you are getting same details 100 times, right? So you write logic for one and then put that in a loop where you are, uh, you know, repeating that loop 100 times. So such cases, we know how many times you have to repeat. So we use for loop. The while loop is used when we don't know how many times, okay? For example, um, perform something till user says yes, okay? So you are performing your working till user says yes, okay? So you will perform once and then check. You'll ask the user, do you want yes or no? User says yes, then again you'll perform. Okay, so for example, same example where you know you have student this thing, but you don't know how many how many students are there. You just want to keep on entering, okay? And so you will run the logic, and after one iteration, you will ask the question: Do you want to continue? If they say yes, okay, then again you start entering, okay? Then when then again you ask: Do you want to continue? Yes, again, okay, you do it. Right? So these are scenarios where we use while and for, okay? So let's say I want to generate um, five numbers, one to five, okay? We'll do using for and while, okay? And then we'll do more examples on for today and uh, we'll take up uh, a while tomorrow, okay? So the logic for for is for I in range Okay, zero comma five comma one. Okay, now let's see this. For is a keyword, okay, or is a text to indicate that we are using for loop. Okay, that's why we, we use for. For is followed by variable i. i is counter. Counter is going to keep track of the count, right? So somebody has to count, right? When you say run five times, somebody has to count, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, five, done, stop, right? So I is that counter. I is going to count how many times you are running the loop, okay? Now, from where will I get the value? I has to get the value from somewhere, right? It's counter, so it has to get value from somewhere, isn't it? So range, okay, we'll talk about in. Range is a function that generates range of value, okay? So when you say range zero comma five comma one, okay, we are saying generate 
values starting from zero, okay, up to five, not included, excluded. Okay, see, starting number is always included. When I say zero, okay, starting number, it means include zero also, okay? So zero, so I will take zero, then one, then two, then three, then four. It will not take five, it is up to five. And how does it know that I have to increase by one? A third number increment. This one indicates that you have to increase by one. So you say increment here. Increment is one. Okay. So when you range, when you use range, okay, it can take three parameters. Okay, three values. Okay. First value is starting value. Second value is up to. Okay, ending value, but ending value is excluded up to. Okay. You won't touch it. You will be just below it. So in this case, of course, it will generate up to uh, four and then you're increasing every value by one okay so i is becoming zero plus one zero plus uh sorry zero plus one one then one plus one two then two plus one three so on so in is an operator just like you have plus minus into division okay in is also an operator we call it as member of op member operator so it's going to take values from range and put it in uh, I. Okay. So when you use in, okay, it takes value from right hand side and puts it in the left hand side. For will make sure that I will take only one value at one time. For will make only make sure that I takes only one value at a time. So one value at a time, I takes from range 0, 5, 1. Okay. So if I print here. I. Now see here, I give colon just like uh, if, okay, colon indicates beginning of a new block, okay, beginning of a new block. And when you do colon, whether you are doing in if condition or loops or in later we'll see class, object, functions, okay, it always needs to have at least one line of code. You cannot skip. You have to have at least one line of code. Okay, if you do not want to do, then what do we do? We did that in the if. We write pass, isn't it? So, you know, if you do not want to put any line, any, you know, even one line of uh, instruction, then you put pass, indicating that there is nothing to do here. But it has to have at least one line of code. If you don't have, put pass. So generally what we do when we're building complex logic, we'll put pass and we'll create the structure and then Step by step, you are replacing pass with the actual code of instruction. So colon, so for i in range colon, right? Clear? You understand everything? And then in the quarter colon, we say print i. That means I'm printing i now, value of i now. So value of i will be in first iteration zero, then one, then two, then three, then four. So when you run it, test one, right? Did I? No. Writing in test three, okay? Move it to test. Okay, let me run it again. You see, you got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? But what numbers I wanted? I wanted um, 1, 2, 3, 4, isn't it? So what I'll do, I'll say i plus 1. Right? So i is 0, so 0 plus 1, 1. i is 1, so 1 plus 1, 2. i is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. i is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So you get from 1 to 5. Correct? Sir, uh, like you in the range only we can give 1, 5, 1, right? Yeah, so that it will start six, now. 1, 6, yes. Yeah. 1, 6, 1, yes. You can give in the range itself 1, 6, 1. Yes, exactly. Okay. So I'll do that in the next line. Uh, I can say here 2 and let's say I do 15 and I do 2 here. Okay, let me make it 4. Okay. <laughs> what will the output of this? So 
if I run it, what will be the output? First, it will print uh, three. Correct. Then, uh, one three, then four. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, four. Okay, okay. So, it will print seven. Correct. Start seven. From, okay. So, range will generate value from two, right? And yeah. the range will be two plus one, three. Mm -hmm. Up to 15, right? Excluded. And increment here is four. So it is going to print values like uh, 3, correct, 7, 10, no, 11, 11. correct, and then, oops, sorry. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I don't know. Sorry, the airplane mode got hit. Please, come on. Okay. It's okay, sir. This is still 11, right? Because 15 is not included. Like the next value will be 15. Really? Yeah. Think again. What value range will print? Tell me. Forget about printing. Tell, tell me the values with range will print. It will a uh, range will print like if you just give i, uh, it will give uh, two, two six. Mm -hmm. It will give uh, two six ten fourteen. Yeah. 2, 6, 10, 14. Correct. So condition yeah. is in range or is in print? Condition, condition. Is, in, is in range, isn't it? Yeah, condition is in range. Range will generate 14. So 14 plus 1 will be 15. Yes or no? For range, yeah. range, see, range is what is taking us up to, isn't it? Yeah. Print doesn't matter. I can print plus 100 also. How does it matter for range here? What I'm doing, the values? Yeah. The condition is being checked by the range, not by the print, isn't it? So yeah. range will generate three, uh, sorry, two, six, 10, 14. Now what we do with I is our job. So this loop will run four times, okay? This loop will run four times. The same as saying zero comma four, okay? But what you do with I is your your thing, right? Whether you print I or you don't print I, you print hello. I can I can print hello, right? Instead of printing I, I want to print hello. I want to print hello four times. So this is way one way of printing hello four times. Okay, not preferred way, but yeah, it, you know, it, it doesn't matter to the range what you do. For is only for needs to know how many times okay loop has to run so for that's the reason you create range now what you do with i you create your own variable you do your own logic doesn't matter to for or to range right so okay now so here when we give uh, three values to range range knows what to do right first value is including starting value second is ending excluding right and then you have increment by 4 now, in second case, okay, let's do another example. For J in range 3, comma 7, print J. Now, see here. Here, we are not giving third value. So, when you have only two values, see, when you have three values, very clear. Start, end, and increment. When we have two values, you have start and end. Okay? Default is increment. Increment is default. Okay, that means when you don't give third value, 
it is auto incrementing by one. It is auto incrementing by one. Do you get it? Yes, sir. Like if you don't give any increment value, it will just by default take it as one. One. So in this case, what will be the output? Three, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now there's one more way, okay, where you don't give two values. You give only one value. Okay. When you give one value, that is your ending value. Okay. Default is start equal to zero and increment equal to one. So when you give only one value, it is taken as ending value. It is taken as ending value. Okay. What does that mean? It means your starting value is default zero. Starting value is default zero. Okay. Yes. Okay, sir. So, so this will print uh, one, two, three, four. No. Where are you? Sleeping? Tell me again. There's no uh, starting value given here, so it will take it as zero. Got it. So what will the value of? Okay. So you are you are talking about the print, right? Yeah, print. So oh, print is print. right. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Like it'll start from uh, zero, so like zero plus one, uh, one. Correct, correct. One, two, three. I thought you're talking about the range. No, you're right. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yes, yes. The range will have zero, one, two, three. Yes, output will be one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. Now, um, let's do some programs. I'm going to move this here. That the output doesn't distract us. Okay. Now, I want to print one single star. How will I print one single star? I'll say print star, correct? You get one single star, right? Now, I want to print five stars, star, 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 five times. So I'm going to say n equal to five, okay? For i in range n, correct? And you print star. So you get five stars like this, correct? Now, I want to print five stars in same line. What do I do? Okay, so this is printing five stars, correct, but in five different lines. I want to print in same line. Uh, can we use end command? Of course, we have to use end. There is no end. other option. Yeah. What do we do? Comma. comma, end is equal to space. Right. So if you give one space, it will print as one space. Right? Okay. Great. Now, I want to print. Okay, so we got five stars, right? Now, I want to print something like this. Five stars like this. Then what do we do? We need another for We need loop. another loop, yes. Yeah. So, see, this is printing you one star, correct? So just like earlier, what we did was we had one star and we put a for loop, it printed five different stars. So instead of that, we have this as one row of star. And if I put this in another loop, this will repeat multiple times, correct? I want to see, this is going to generate me one row of star. And if I put this in a for loop, for j in range, say n again, okay? So this is printing me one row of star. 
And this entire thing is like repeating one row of star five times. Right? So let's run this and see what happens. What happened? It printed all in one line. Why? Because we have given end here, right? So how do I break? So see, once you are done printing with one row, before you start the loop second time, right? So you can give here also, print. Okay, that means before you start printing, just change the line. Before you start printing, change the line, right? So, and at the end, when you are done, also we want to change the line. So this is outside loop. When you are done printing, right? Just add an empty line. Yes, you got it, right? Okay, it's six because one is coming from previous example, okay? So, <coughs> <coughs> can say two dot. Okay, so two dot. This is the star that you have. Five stars. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I want to print a triangle of stars. Okay. Triangle of stars means, let me copy this whole thing. First line, only one star I want. Second, I want only two stars. Third, I want three stars. Four, I want four stars. And five, I want five stars. Okay, so tell me, how do I do that? Think. So see, tell me, we have two uh, loops, right? Which loop you think we need to make any changes? Should we make changes to the first loop or second loop? first loop is only repeating five times. Okay. The second loop, the right. one which prints. Right. Because first loop is for the number Just of repeating, times. yeah. Correct. Correct. So here also we need to repeat five times, right? So there is no change here. So first loop, we don't have to make any changes. First loop is perfectly fine. Second loop is where we need to make change. Okay. So here if I say N, it will print N or five every time. Okay. So I need to replace N with something which is dynamically changing. Something which is changing dynamically. First time it is one, second time it is two, so on. Oh, sorry. So which value can I put here? Okay. Now see, if I put one, it will work fine for the first row. But second row, no. So what is that? Is there something which is increasing every time, every loop? First row, one. One. Second row, two. Third row, three. Is there a variable? Okay, see, if we don't have, we have to create one more variable. But before we create a new variable, do we have any variable here which is changing with row? J. J is changing with row, right? Yeah. First row, J is zero. Second, J is one. Third, J is two. two. So... 
J we can use directly J. Okay, but J first row it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But we want 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So you'll say J plus 1. Now first row we have 1, second row 2, third row 3. And now when you run it, you see, you get a triangle pattern like this. Okay. Now if we didn't have J, we might have to create K equal to 0. And in the outer lobe, okay, we have to say k plus equal to 1 and use k here. Okay, we got j here, so we didn't have to. But otherwise, if j was not there, we had to create another variable. Okay, so, you know, this is just to give you idea that if you find something around, you can use it. Otherwise, okay, you have to buy from outside, isn't it? So, that's what. So if, in this case, we don't have used third variable because J is there, which is changing dynamically. So we don't have to use K. Otherwise, we'll have to use K. Make sense? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Now, what we'll do is, we'll do one more example. Okay, here I'll be putting it's a reverse order. Okay, so you have first five star, then four, four, three, two, one. Yes, four, three, two, one. Okay. This is the star. And I'll make it four, right? This is fourth. So see, again, outer loop, no change. Correct? Inner loop, we'll have to make some changes. Inner loop, we will have to make some changes. So here, we have to start with five first. Correct? Right? Then five minus one, then five minus two, then five minus three. The first row is n, right? n minus j. Same same logic like previous one. You have to find something. Is it something which is changing dynamically? We found j. It works. If we didn't have a j, then we had to create one more variable. Now, here it works. First row, n, n minus 0, right? j will be 0 in first iteration. So, minus 0. Minus 0 is 5. Correct? And then... We talk then the minus uh, one, it becomes four. Four, yes. In second row, it becomes four. Mm. Like that, it keeps changing. Then it becomes uh, minus two. Like uh, you have to subtract two. Minus two. Uh, oh, five minus two. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. So you get start like that. Okay. We'll stop here. I'm going to give you an assignment before we stop. Okay. This is very tricky, so see if you can. Okay, I want you to print um, this triangle only, one to five triangle only. Okay, but not the right angle triangle, Equilateral triangle. You see, <coughs> last row no space, first row one space, second from triangle last two spaces. Okay, I want you to print this triangle pattern. Yes, so similar to other one, but here you have to take care of spaces also. See, the triangle pattern that we had done so far, we were focusing only on star because we're printing on left side. Space automatically will be created on right side. But here, we need to take care of spaces and then star. So the answer is that you'll have to use one more loop to take care of spaces. 
So basically, this is a combination of last two examples that we did. Right angle triangle and inverted right angle triangle. Right? In, so if you see the spaces, space is like inverted right angle triangle. Yes, no. Space is like your right, inverted right angle triangle and star is like your no, upright right angle triangle. So you have to mix both together and try. Okay, sir. Try this and we'll meet tomorrow. We'll do some more examples on uh, you know loops like while and then we'll solve a few more problems. So I'm hoping that by Monday we'll be able to wrap up entire loops. Okay, I'll upload the notes the same location. We can refer after the session.